Mandy. Oh my god. This is what December says. It's December and I need you showing up with this recipe in order for people not to take you for idiot, okay? Now let me give you a quick rundown of what our ingredients are before we start whipping up. We have some fresh rosemary, fresh thyme, fresh garlic, one whole bulb, okay? We also have one chili pepper, tons of butter. We have one lemon, which is yellow lemon. And we have a whole chicken, black pepper, and salt. The key ingredient though is gonna be mustard. We'll talk about that a little bit later. As for now, let's start things off by roasting up our garlic, which we're gonna need to cut off, drizzle with some oil, and then roast. Now while the garlic is roasting, all I'm gonna do is finally chop my herbs, which is rosemary and thyme. And if you wanna use something else, it's completely up to you. However, I highly recommend that you do not skip on the fresh herbs because they add a ton of flavor to this roast chicken that we're gonna be making. Now that our rosemary and thyme are finally chopped, we're gonna go in and do the same thing to our chili pepper right here. And if you do not like things spicy, please remember, this is all optional. Now that we're done with finely chopping everything, we're just gonna zest this lemon, which is basically grating the outside skin that we really need. And you don't wanna go too deep where you scratch the white part, you just want the outside. The beautiful thing is you don't need to throw this out. You can, of course, still use it. I'm not going too crazy with the lemon, I'm just, ensuring that we have enough for about a teaspoon. We're gonna go in now and grind down some fresh black pepper. And I'm using my measuring spoons, which are available in MMTD Kitchen. Check out the link below where you can get to see the TDQ approved uh, products. We're only gonna go in with uh, a teaspoon. I'm, I'm feeling like I should reduce it, but a teaspoon should be fine. Remember, if you do not have fresh black pepper, you can go ahead and also just use brown black pepper, ain't no problem with that. Let's check on our garlic though. Now we're onto our chicken, which we are simply going to be removing the backbone. Again, these scissors are available on MMTD Kitchen. The link is below. The scissors pretty much just help cutting off the backbone in an easier manner. You don't need to throw this away. You can use this to make some amazing chicken stock. All I'm gonna do right now is, you see this excess fat? I'm just gonna trim it out with this pair of scissors. And now we're gonna go ahead, take our chicken flip it over and we're just gonna turn it into a spatchcock, breaking the backbone like that. And then we're gonna take the wings and tuck them in, like so, so that they just don't burn when you're cooking them. The wing tips are very easy to burn. And now that our chicken is spatchcocked, we're just gonna go ahead and take our napkins. So our garlic has been roasting for about 15 minutes. And right now, all I'm gonna do is squeeze out the garlic. So what I'm trying to avoid to do is grab the burnt bits. I'm just trying to use the bits that are not burnt. If you use the burnt bits, it's gonna make your butter a little bit bitter and that's not what you want. So when you can, just be able to remove the burnt bits. Now that we've removed the burnt bits, we're gonna go ahead and mash this up. We're gonna take our butter and go ahead and melt it. Now that our butter has melted, what we're gonna do is go ahead and add it to our garlic like so. And now we're just gonna take all of our finely diced things, which is the lemon, the chili, and the rosemary and thyme. I'm just using a handful. I didn't go in with everything that I chopped up. 
and we're just gonna mash it up like so. This already smells so beautiful. Now, one thing that I do wanna point out is I'm using unsalted butter. Um, it's just better to use unsalted butter because every other thing you're gonna do is possibly add salt and you don't want things to be too salty. Um, and now that we've combined everything, I'm just gonna pop this into the freezer to solidify. Again, if you have time and you can do this the day before and have it in the fridge or make a, a big batch and have it in the fridge, works in your favor. So let me pop this into the freezer since it's already cooled down so it solidifies. Now that our butter is frozen, I had mentioned that cheat code is going to be with using mustard. Mustard is very great for your meats, especially chicken and pork, for the flavor to penetrate through. So we're just gonna smear some mustard onto this and rub it down. Yeah, you heard me right. We're gonna rub it down with the mustard and on both sides. You don't wanna go too crazy, just enough. And now that our mustard is on, we're gonna go in with our salt. Notice how I'm the eyeball queen. <laughs> the higher you drizzle the salt, the more it has time to like spread around onto the chicken or onto whatever meat you are um, seasoning. So I've kind of gone slightly ha um, heavy handed with the salt, but it's because I really wanted to penetrate through. So we're gonna go in with the black pepper as well. And then you're just gonna pat it in because that's essentially what you want to do. Pat it all the way in. We're gonna flip it over and do the same thing. Go in with our salt. Now the salt and pepper actually helps the skin become crispy. So you don't wanna skip on this. Even if it's just like a slight pinch of salt, you definitely wanna do that. Now before I add in the pepper, I'm just gonna gently lift up the skin where the titties are. Just gently lift it up. And I'm just trying to separate this so that I can have the butter be able to have easy access to get up underneath the skin. I'm gonna be using a spoon to scoop this out. And I'm gonna be placing it under the skin. Now this will help the chicken have more flavor, be more moist. And you don't wanna skip on this step. It's something that I showed you guys how to make last year. Um, however, this is the advanced version because it has mustard on it. So we're just gently lifting the skin and placing this everywhere. You wanna get it especially into the nooks and crannies of where the thighs go. And now that is done, we're gonna go ahead and sprinkle our black pepper to go on top. Now that our chicken is well marinated, let's go ahead and cook up the thing. Our pan is nice and hot. We're just gonna drizzle in just a little bit of oil. We're gonna take our whole chicken. And you wanna hear that sound. <laughs> So we're gonna be cooking the chicken for about 40 minutes. That's about, I wanna say 20 minutes on each side. We're also going to be covering it so it cooks all the way through on the inside. But as of right now, you just wanna get that crispy skin. Um, so we're gonna cook it skin side down first and let the magic happen. Just gonna grab the chicken and flip it over. I'm gonna be covering the chicken for it to cook a little bit faster especially on the inside, so let's let that magic happen. Our chicken is officially ready. Looking absolutely delicious. We are going to let it rest before we curve and we serve, but pretty much a spatchcock chicken will not take you that long to cook on the stove especially with depending on the size of the chicken. So this is a pretty much a smaller chicken. It's not yet at one kgs. However, I do wanna say, now that it needs to rest, I can't even wait to taste the skin. Ooh, I just know the skin won't slap. It's time. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but this is like a really cool job that I get to do all the time. Oh my god! It's like, you know when Lion King, they were like, Oh, si ben ya! Okay. 
I just think the butter drip. Is it gluttonous if I eat the whole chicken? <laughs> I'm itching to eat this little part of the skin, but I'm gonna be I'm gonna be well behaved, okay? I don't want you to be well behaved this December. I want you to be acting a full cooking delicious food and tagging me. My hashtag is Miss Mandy Throwdown, especially when you make this chicken, okay? Okay. And if you wanna ask me any other questions, hit up the comment section. I'm here to answer you and take good care of you this holiday season because I want you to throw down really well. In the meantime, though, I want you to like subscribe and share this video remember we're on the road to 100k and if we hit 100k i might just make you this chicken